Good. So, good day. We are the group that will report the crackers from soybean, flour, and coconut oil. So, for the user preference, according to WHO and the DOH, many people are looking for healthy food. Filipinos look for beneficial in rating fiber, that most important that snack that they eat at 63%. They're also looking for natural ingredients at 56%. For the target market, we are targeting the malnourished people of the Philippines since the, they are increasing in their numbers. And then for the potential customers, we are having potential customers in families that will live in poverty with less minimum wage. And then for the group, various groups that I, poor families, evacuation centers, and outreach programs. For the market size and growth today. The latest report of 2019 was that the market was $755 million as of last year. And the market, it has grown since 2010 with only a market growth of $370 US dollars. Our primary target is malnourished, malnourished people in the Philippines. And the most visible sign of malnourishment is stunting within one year old to five years old. This is the statistics of the rate of malnourishment and stunting in five year olds. For the type of patent, our product is a potential innovation due to the fact that, that only a few customers know about these type of crackers. It is a new flavor in the, in the market and it has a different kind of nourishment. For the potential market growth, its latest report of 2019 was 755 million US dollars. And it has been continuing to grow at an average of 2.5% since 2010. Our prediction by 2025 is that it will grow to 970 million at 2025. For the product case, next, uh, the plan for the soybean cracker is to be given to the families in order to have a balanced diet and with nutritional benefits of the soybean cracker. It helps the children to be healthy and energetic without consuming that much food. Next. Here are the compositions of the cracker from soybean and coconut oil. For our first competitor, customer value proposition is to uplift the lives of people they serve. Price point ranges from 35 pesos to 300 pesos. And distribution channels are the local sari sari stores, merchandisers, supermarkets, etc. Next. For the second competitor's customer, customer value proposition, the same as the first one, price point ranging from 7 pesos to 450 pesos, distribution channels, the same as the first one. Next. Customer value proposition of Rabisco Crackers refers to this as the best market offer to plain crackers. Price point, 6 pesos up to 250 pesos, distribution channels, the same as the others. Customer value proposition of Magic Flakes as their favorite during, Filipino as their favorite during snack time. Price point ranges from 4 pesos to 150 pesos, distribution channels, the same as the others. Customer value proposition of Vita has many different flavors and has been used in various ways, such as appetizers. Price point, 6 pesos to 55 pesos, distribution channels, uh, the same as the others. Strengths it, uh, are strength. It can reduce the chances of undernourishment, especially for children. Weakness, since it is a new invention, new phase in the market. Opportunities uh, helps companies who are advocates of providing nutritious food and are threats. So it has a wide range of competitors. Uh, so for the process case, uh, we would be making uh, crackers from soybean and coconut oil. So the key ingredients are soybean flour, uh, coconut oil and fresh milk. With this, uh, it con it allows the product to contain 23.34% protein and 47.68% carbohydrate. Uh, the inventor was Julius Andrew Bonina, and with this invention, uh, it helped the Philippines to combat malnutrition. So for the inputs, uh, we have soybean flour, next, all-purpose flour, coconut oil, fresh milk, yeast, salt, and baking soda. So for the equipments, we have oven, rolling pin, mixer, whisker, wax paper, metal tray, pizza wheel, mixing bowl, refrigerator, vacuum sealer, and plastic. So for the ingredients, uh, we'd be using 
cups each of all-purpose and soy flour, and two teaspoons of sugar, two teaspoons of salt, four tablespoons of coconut oil, one cup of fresh milk, two teaspoons of yeast for the quantity of 100 crackers. So for the process, we have seven steps. For step one, we need to preheat the oven to 204 degrees Celsius. Step two, mix all the ingredients. Step three, form the dough into a ball shape. Step four, add some flour to the dough to avoid sticking. Step five, uh, use a rolling pin to roll the dough. Step six, cut the rolled dough. And step seven, put the rolled dough into the oven. So for the business model canvas, we have key partners. Uh, they would be the food suppliers, laborers, investors, suppliers of equipment, nutritionists. For the key activities, uh, delivery system, recruitment of workers, partnership with sellers, development of product variants, ordering payment system, online marketing, training of staff. For the key resources, uh, equipment, second-hand van, workers, manager. For the budget proposition, uh, providing nutritious crackers for the consumers, decreasing undernourishment cases, and promoting nutritious food. For the customer relation, uh, we focus on community, uh, ethical, professionally, reliable, social media communications. For our channels, uh, direct distribution, manufacture to business. For the customer segment, undernourished individuals, healthy, conscious people, people who have uh, eating disorders for the cost structure of uh, the fixed cost are utilities expense rent expense salaries expense operating expense depreciation of equipment for the variable cost ingredients packaging expense and for the revenue streams retail fees reseller fees and transactional fees one These crackers are the keys to a healthier and balanced diet. Proudly presenting, these crackers are made from soybean flour and coconut oil are the best kinds of cracker, crackers with the numerous health benefits and will definitely help balance a person's diet. For our fixed costs, here are the five-year projection of our product. Next. Next. Uh, cash flow, uh, on the first year, as you can see, uh, uh, we did not earn income, but for the third year to fourth year, uh, same as the income statement, that's the time when we earn revenues. Next. So for our vision, so in we envision that there are no malnourished people and everybody is living, is living a healthy lifestyle. And then for our mission, is to provide a wholesome crackers that can help consumers to achieve balanced diet and healthy lifestyle. So objectives to expand the distribution of products into other regions of Luzon to ensure continuous growth of sales to reach 100 employees in the next five years to set the trend of healthy crackers throughout innovation to work harmoniously in achieving a common goal and to be fully committed and dedicated to our organization. For the toast analysis, we focus on marketing our product, right? For the SO strategies, we want to promote our product into participating in different events, such as outreach programs, community aid programs, relief goods distribution, and et cetera. For the WO strategies, we want to market our product properly through online media, online media sites, so that we may advertise it to our specific target market using the social media sites advertising ads. For the ST strategies, you want to market the product right by promoting more of the health, health benefits so that the market will appreciate more of the product's strengths. And for the WT strategies, we want to promote our product by having the right packaging and for the parents to promote it to the kids so that the kids will easily recognize our brand right away once they enter the groceries and different mediums of distribution. So here are our references. These are our report for market case, product case, process case, and business case. Thank you and God bless.